All right, what's up, nerds? Paul Conti back again with the second round battle report from Triumph GT. Uh, my Nurgle versus Stormcast, and we were playing Knife to the Heart. Uh, so we were in the loser's bracket after uh, the first round. This was my opponent's list. This was a very interesting Stormcast list. A lot of Vanguard Chamber in here. Um, so he was running Lord Aquilor, and he was running it as his general. Uh, two Lord Relictors, a Drake Sworn Templar, so a nice big Star Drake. A Griffhound, three Aether Wings, uh, three Vanguard Raptors with Hurricane Crossbows, which were very interesting. Um, and three Vanguard Raptors with Long Strikes. Unit of five Liberators, unit of ten Liberators, and a unit of five Judicators, with a W at the end, apparently, because I cannot spell things. Or proofread. Um, so, I kind of blanked on taking pictures of the very beginning of this game and, like, deployment. But, uh, I got first turn again. I dropped in, uh my Blight Kings and Gut Rot Spume it, way back into his rear corner. Um, he didn't put anything back there to prevent me from jumping in. So uh, that was super good for me. And that basically... Uh, that was a, really a game-breaking thing for me. That was just kind of like, it's a matter of time before these Blight Kings run and jump on that objective and clear things out. Um, unless he really focuses on eliminating them. Um, over on my end, um, I really just kind of held the line over here, um, spread out a little bit to try and prevent his um, lightning chariots from getting up in my business too much. Um, had another situation with an arcane piece of terrain that I got to put Festus and the Great Unclean one next to, Summoned up a Bailwind. Uh, this is um, into my opponent's first turn. Uh, I didn't really do much of anything on my first turn. I just kind of deployed my guys out there. Um, but he uh, dropped in with the Aquilor and the guys with Hurricane Crossbows. And he was just using them like rogues. He was sweeping off the table, popping up somewhere, and just using those guys as like hunter killers so he took down festus off of that bail wind vortex really fast um and positioned them such that it was going to be kind of hard for me to get at them and do anything about it um so as you can see here as well uh the star drake just kind of rained mortal wounds all over the place um but i was just kind of hanging out for the most part uh, he lightning charioted in his retributors, uh, which were not in his list that I had to put up there before. But yeah, there were five retributors, and uh, they came after the Lord of Afflictions. He stabbed them with the Rust Fang, and they started going down. Um, took a little bit, though, because they, he didn't get them into combat with the Rust Fang very quickly. Or, I'm sorry, the he didn't get anything else into combat. He really just kept it to the Lord of Afflictions. Uh, he also really kind of held the line on this one and was doing a lot of shooting at me. Um, and I think kind of figuring out what to do. Um, he had originally deployed his Liberators a little bit... His or larger block of Liberators a little further up. And... Um, I, uh, he started retreating those back to try and go deal with, uh, my Blight Kings. Uh, but in case anyone's wondering, 10 Liberators, no match for 10 Blight Kings. Uh, so, uh, this is pretty much the same game state as the prior picture. Um, I think this is just at the end of that combat. Um, I was just holding my objective, uh, everything staying within a pretty close distance to the Harbinger of Decay so that everything that was on my side of the board was getting ward saves and he uh, was really just bouncing off of my Lord of Afflictions because he was on a 4-up, 5-up, 5-up so he was in really good shape he was not getting shifted 
and then he was healing himself every turn. Um, I was surprised he kind of held his Star Drake back for a turn. Um, I think that was probably a mistake, but I don't know if he was really sure what direction it needed to go in. Um, I think he was trying to figure out if he needed to be on offense or defense at this point in the game. Um, this is just sort of another picture of the same thing. The Great Unclean One charged in to those guys and started assisting the... Uh, Lord of Afflictions on those Retributors. Uh, off in the back, he moved his Liberators back toward my Blight Kings to try and take them on and uh, hold them up. I believe he got the double turn on me here. Um, so that was pretty good for him, and you can see he, he swept his Hurricane Crossbows back over to this side of the board and shot at them and got Rot Spume. In the middle here, he moved his uh, Drake's Worn Templar up, and he uh, popped his Lord Aquilor in my backfield. Um, but he just kind of sat there with those. Um, continued to slowly work my way through those Retributors. I didn't really want to commit anything too much to this. He wasn't coming at me hard enough with anything that I really felt an emergency need to really start shifting my Blight Kings around. I was really trying to stay in a defensive position and let the big block of 10 in his backfield do their work. Um, so he did make that charge with the Star Drake into the Great Unclean one. So this is the big battle of fatties. Um, and they kind of bounced off each other. Uh, he got some good damage onto the great unclean one he did a few wounds back um just kind of hanging other than that he made a charge into my blight kings and needless to say that blight kings did a whole lot of damage to the leaders pretty quickly uh when it came back over to my turn i charged two units of blight kings into the drake sworn templar and i also moved up the harbinger of decay so that they would uh, both of those units would be getting his save uh, against any attacks from the Star Drake. So that was pretty good. And you can see here, uh, it looks like there was only one Retributor left at this point. And in the back, it looks like he was down to three or four Liberators after a couple of rounds of combat. And I was just kind of grinding through. Um, and he was pointing his long strikes at me. He was pointing his hurricane crossbows at me and trying to work those guys down. But man, even without a ward save, those guys are tough. Um, yeah, they're very, very good. Um, so I took out the Star Drake pretty quickly. Um, I believe uh, the Great Unclean One got off the uh, favored poxes on it um, and once it started losing its save that was a major problem and he I wiped out all of those liberators Lord Aquilor I think he failed a charge if I remember correctly um, so that he was just kind of hanging out there he was slowly moving up a unit of liberators but liberators without any sort of like lightning chariot or anything like that they're pretty slow moving so they weren't getting very far uh, and five Liberators were definitely going to be no match for all of the stuff that I had in defense back here. Um, and at this point, I actually kind of pulled a tricky move. I charged. And I charged, ending my charge uh, into that Relictor. And then kind of conga lined my guys out toward the objective to take his objective and this was the third battle round I believe I had top of the turn um, and at this point it's just sudden death as soon as you hold both at the end of a turn you win the game uh, and he did not expect me to do this um, he didn't expect this move uh, I got a pretty decent charge roll off on my blight kings so I was able to just snake them over to that objective from his relictor and that really ended the game there um 
over here, this is just kind of the final look at my end of the board. So this one ended after three, and um, it was a really fun game. I uh, really enjoyed uh, my opponent quite a bit. I really liked his list, and he's definitely giving me some ideas about how to use that Vanguard Chamber. Um, I had never really thought about using the Hurricane Crossbows plus the Aquilor together uh, as sort of like a sniping force uh, that could kind of pop in, kill things, and pop back out. Um, so very interesting. Very interesting indeed.